Bus passengers in the Glasgow area are facing sharp fare rises. The city's biggest bus operator, First Glasgow, is increasing the price of single adult tickets by 15%. The company says that overall its prices offer value for money, but campaigners say the bus network needs a radical shake-up. Here's our transport correspondent, David Henderson. They're a public transport lifeline, but for many passengers in the west of Scotland, bus fares are set to rise as First Glasgow hikes its prices for children and adults who buy single tickets. If we're ever going from Bridgeton to town, it is cheaper to either get the train or literally jump in a taxi, and that's quite sad. It is expensive, it goes up and up and up, and then the fact that they took the returns away is just even worse. I started using the train now because the bus is too expensive. First Glasgow insists that overall its prices offer value for money and says fares for tickets bought online have been frozen. But it's prompted fresh calls for a radical change to the way Scotland's buses work. The number of people travelling by bus has fallen. Across the west of Scotland, the number of passenger journeys is down by 49 million in just 10 years. At the same time, we've seen less choice for many passengers with a decline in the number of routes and bus operators. Buses are competing with trains, trains are competing with the subway, and we want to be encouraging more and more people to use public transport, to leave their cars at home, to improve our air quality, um, and to reduce our carbon emissions. And these fare hikes are doing the complete opposite. It's a disaster. The sector needs to be better regulated. At, at the moment, Glasgow City Council, with the best will in the world, wouldn't have any way of making sure that First Buses keeps its fares low. So we need proper regulation of the sector so that it can do that. The Scottish Government insists these latest fare rises are the lowest in the UK, but says it's looking at options for shaking up the bus network to improve the service for passengers. David Henderson, Reporting Scotland, Glasgow.